July 4th, 1776. Logan. They ventured much. Five signers of the Declaration of Independence were captured by the British and tortured as traitors. Nine fought in the War of Independence and died from wounds and hardships they suffered. Another had two sons captured. At least a dozen of the 56 had their homes pillaged and burned. What kind of men were they? 25 were lawyers or jurists. 11 were merchants. Nine were farmers or large plantation owners. One was a teacher, one a musician, and one a printer. These were the men of means and education who launched the ship of state, which you and I have inherited. Yet they signed the Declaration of Independence, knowing full well that the penalty could be death if they were captured. When these courageous men signed, they pledged their lives, their fortunes, and their sacred honor to the cause of freedom and independence. This Continental Congress was forced to flee from Philadelphia to Baltimore in the face of the advancing British Army on December 12, 1776. Let us now hear the stories of some of these courageous men. Hello. My name is William Floyd. My family and I led a good and rich life here on Long Island. We always strive to be on the side of the common good. I enlisted early with the colonists in the controversy with Great Britain. I served in the Continental Congress and also as a general during our war for independence. As a result, the British confiscated all of my property and burned my farm to the ground. My wife and children were forced to flee to Connecticut. There, my beautiful wife, Hannah, worn down by poverty and hardship, died young. Hello, I am the daughter of John Hart. People call my dad Honest John, and I was very proud of him. I live comfortably on a very large farm in New Jersey. When the British came, my father, sisters, and brothers and I had to run for our lives. But my mother was very sick, and she couldn't come with us. We all got separated, and I was scared, and I was always hungry and tired. I slept in caves. After about a year, when things were quiet, I went back to our farm in New Jersey. But everything was destroyed, and my mother was dead. I never saw my father, sisters, or brothers again. son of Thomas Nelson Jr. There was a battle in Yorktown near our house. The British General Cornwallis took our home away from us to use as his headquarters. My father told General George Washington about it and told him to open fire on our nice home. He did and everything was completely destroyed. We lost it all. We lived in poverty and my dad died soon after. It was very hard but I knew that my father was a hero. Soon the British found us, and then they found my father. 
they took they put him in prison and, and they treated him very badly. He got weak and then he died. After that, our family didn't have any money left and we needed charity to live the rest of our lives. Hello, I am the wife of Francis Lewis. When the British came to our home, my husband was away. Instead, the British arrested me and put me in jail. The British destroyed our beautiful house. They took everything, even the buckles from my mother's shoes. Once, our family servant smuggled a change of clothes and some food to me in the jail. But I got sick from starvation and bad treatment. They wouldn't even let me have a bed. I died shortly after I was released from jail. My long jailing and my death made my family very sad. They were very poor ever after. But we endured these things so that we all might be free. Such were the stories of those who risked everything to sign the Declaration of Independence. They were soft-spoken men of means and education. They had security, but they valued liberty more. Standing tall, straight, and unwavering, they pledged for the support of this Declaration with a firm reliance on the protection of the divine providence. We mutually pledge to each other our lives, our fortunes, and our sacred honor. <laughs>